Hi everyone, so it's been a little while since I've done a daily vlog. Loads has been happening and I just haven't been vlogging. <laughs> but I really felt the need to pick up the camera today because today feels like quite an exciting day. Firstly, I was woken up this morning by fighter jets circling around my house, which was pretty scary and also quite a cool sight. Um, I think there was something going on at the airport. We live really close to the airport, by the way. Yeah, there was something going on at the airport and they had to escort a plane in and they were literally above our house. It was crazy. And I've posted a little video on Twitter and on my Instagram stories and I've had so many press companies messaging me this morning saying, can we use your video? And of course I've said yes. So that's been quite exciting, start to the day. Um, the other reason today is quite exciting is because I've been invited to a, an event in London um, for Superdrug. And I think it's like their Christmas product display party kind of thing. It's on between two and half eight tonight, but I'm going to go and try and get there for like when it starts because I want to get home before rush hour. And this is, feels like a big deal because I haven't got the train into London on my own for, it feels like years. I can't quite remember the last time I'd done it. It must have been well over four years ago. Um, I literally can't remember and that's mainly because I have had anxiety problems and a lot of my anxiety was around doing things on my own and using public transport so this feels like a really big deal today and I actually feel quite excited I do feel nervous but I feel excited and I know that I'm gonna feel really good for it afterwards that's what's like motivating me to do it and also I feel like I hold myself back from doing things on my own and I'm lucky because Andy will always come and like handhold and come with me and stuff but I feel like I've lost a bit of that independence that I used to have and the confidence that I used to have and I want to be able to feel like I can just get on the train and go somewhere on my own so that is what I'm doing today and bless Andy he really wanted to come I think he was either worried about me or had nothing to do <laughs> I don't know but I was like no I really want to do this on my own um, I think it'll be really good for me and hopefully, you know, the more things I get invited to, the more I will do if I know that I can do it on my own. And it also helps out with the dogs as well because it means that he can be at home and yeah, we don't need to get a dog sitter or anything. So fingers crossed it's going to go well. I don't think it's going to result in a panic attack or anything. I haven't had a panic attack for years. Touch wood. Don't want to tempt fate. but yeah i i feel i feel confident with it i feel okay as long as nothing goes wrong i think that's what i'm worried about something going wrong with the trains and not being able to get home or yeah something that's going to kind of throw me off course but fingers crossed it should be okay and i'm really looking forward to seeing what's at the super drug event i literally know nothing about it there's not been much information but i was told there'll be lots of cruelty free and vegan products so yeah it should be good should be fun anyway The train actually from Essex was really chilled out, so yeah, I quite enjoyed it actually. It was an opportunity to schedule some tweaks and get some work done. And I'm just about to head into the super drug event now, so I'll take you with me.
fun and I've got a goodie bag Woo! always makes it extra worthwhile going and there's a massive giant super drug pink bus which is pretty cool and I got my nails done for free amazing this is a cruelty free nail polish brand called Orly I think it is um, I'm gonna look them up when I get home because I've not used them before but it's really nice nail polish so I'm back in Essex, um, successful trip to London today. It was literally a fleeting visit. I just went in, went to the event, and had a little mooch around Liverpool Street before I come back. But yeah, I feel like I've really overcome a massive hurdle today, and I'm really glad that I've done it. And I think going forward, I won't be hesitant about doing it again. And it seems crazy that it seems like a big thing to me to actually get on public transport on my own because. I used to uh, travel in, I used to commute into the city every day from Essex um, for my job. So it's weird years later that now I'm at the stage where it's a massive thing for me to get on the train on my own, but that's what anxiety does to you. And it's like, the more you avoid doing something, the bigger deal it becomes. I also feel so tired now. It's almost like when you conquer something like this, it's almost like, you get a little adrenaline rush and you do something massive and then afterwards you have like the come down so on the train home I was feeling really tired and I've gone like really lethargic it's like a massive come down so yeah I'm planning on going home now and getting in my pajamas um, having some dinner and just having a really chilled evening um, but when I get home I will have a little look to see what's in the goodie bag that I got from the super drug event because I haven't actually looked in it yet and I'll show you guys what I got okay so I've just um, had a look through the goodie bag and it's so good I can't even believe how much stuff's inside this goodie bag I'm really unexpected um, so I've got this apologies for chihuahua noises um, I've got this Christmas gift guide media preview which is basically just got all of the Christmas gifts and products in there and I've just noticed there's this like key ring tassel thing on the bag which is cute okay so in the bag we've got this makeup brush which is really cool and it's completely synthetic which is great um, I've got an elf palette natural glow face palette Oh, it's got bronzer, highlighter and blushes. So cool because I haven't already got that. Um, I've got a nip and fab palette. I love these colours. These are like perfect. They're the kind of colours that I always go for. I've never bought anything from nip and fab before, but I'm pretty sure they're cruelty free. An MUA palette as well. The colours in this are gorgeous. So pretty. These dogs are making so much noise. Love that. Um, what have we got here? B Sparkling Water Cleanser. That's completely new, that product. I've never tried or seen that before. An Elf Beautifully Precise Multi Blender Massager. That is really nice. I'm not quite sure what I would use that for. I think it's for like contouring, yeah, or bronzer and last but not least i've got a makeup revolution palette flawless four so i've just taken it out of the box and you can see it's like a really nice like a copper rose gold color and this has got so many eyeshadows in it check this out oh my god i literally don't have an eyeshadow eyeshadow palette like this with so many different colors in it really cool and the mirror on it is amazing so I've just opened up the elf palette as well it's got some really nice colors in there so it's the next day now and yeah the super drug event yesterday was really fun the goodie bag was amazing as well I was really impressed with that and me and Andy are just popping out for some lunch today and we're gonna go and try the new uh, vegan menu at Wagamama's so I just thought I would end this vlog by just filming some clips um, of what we have at Wagamama's I'm really excited to try the new menu so looking forward to it 